Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we will see how to access Raspberry Pi and Pi camera for remote monitoring using a mobile application which is free download from Play Store. Let us start. These two devices needed. This is the Raspberry Pi which I am using for this scenario. Here I am using Raspberry Pi 3 model. Backside you can see I have inserted the SD card with Raspbian image. So this is the night vision camera. The Pi camera which we are going to insert with the Raspberry Pi and using for this scenario. And if you look at this lens, you can see that it is a 2.8 mm camera lens and with a HD 1080 pixel resolutions. Now we will fix this with the Raspberry Pi. So if you look at the Raspberry Pi, here we have a camera slot near to the HDMI port. You can see here. So this port only you going to use it for this Pi camera. Just pull that socket out. Once you pull it out, we have to insert this camera. So if you look at that strip, it is having blue color that has to face the Ethernet port side. So you have to insert like this. Insert it and uh, tighten the socket then it will be fixed. Now you can see that camera module plugged into the Raspberry Pi. As I told uh, here that blue color strip should be facing the Ethernet port. Okay, you have to ensure it. That's it. Now we will install the Pi camera package in the Raspberry Pi and we will power it up. Here my Raspberry Pi connected with this Cisco PL app. With the IP address 192.168.137.181 Connect it. It will open it in the browser. So here I have to give my password. So login successful. First I have to enable my camera module. So new terminal. So here you have to type the command uh, raspi-config. It will open one dialog box. So here you have to go to the fifth step interfacing option just click enter so first you have to enable your camera module click enter so it will ask whether to enable or disable just click yes so you will get a notification camera interface is enabled click ok and just finish the installation next i have to update my raspbian so apt hyphen get update so it will update the packages inside your Raspberry Pi. So update successful. Control L to clear the screen. Now I have to install the package for Pi camera. So the very easy command to install it is sudo pip install Pi camera. It will collect the details and it will start installing the packages. So in my Raspberry Pi I have already installed this packages so here I am getting the message requirement already satisfied. Next take your mobile phone connect with the same Wi-Fi network where Raspberry Pi connected. So here I connected with the Wi-Fi network OpenCV. Next we have to install an application mobile app from the Play Store called Rasp Control which is free. You can download it. Once you open it this is the home page bottom you can find the plus symbol to add the raspberry pi so device name host ip ssh port 22 username is pi and by default the password is raspberry once you feed the details you can save this one and it will be added in the list i have already added my raspberry pi here so hold it edit so my pi is the device name raspberry pi ip address port number username and the password raspberry i have given so click it it will go into that menu here you can see many options so many options provided so if you click the camera once it has been connected here you can monitor from your mobile phone so I have connected my Pi camera in Raspberry Pi but monitor in the mobile phone. You can see my mobile phone there. So back and uh, we have an uh, 
option CPU RAM disk monitoring here the temperature of your Raspberry Pi RAM how much RAM used and disk used back Raspberry Pi info so here you can get the model architecture CPU number of cores so all details you can get it from here next we have a SSH cell so which is a secure cell script CLI mode command line interface so through this you can navigate with your Raspberry Pi so CD notebook I'm going into the folder so ls to list the directories here CD sample input data set for an example I'm opening this directory and you can use the control here and L for clear the screen so ls so some python programs here from here also you can run the script by using the command python so python space file name if you give from your mobile phone you can run the program so back so file manager this is GUI mode graphical user interface mode to navigate with your directories so sample image data set so here you can open that python program so click text editor so this is that python program here you can also edit it after edit you can save it and using that CLI mode you can execute it back so many options here and here DHT temperature sensor once you have connected the DHT temperature sensor based on this circuit you can monitor it here temperature and humidity so give the circuit diagram based on this one once you connected you can access that one so many options like shutdown reboot so this is free mobile app you can download it and you can connect it thanks for watching it bye bye